All right, everybody, it's Lou here, it's the second week of the build. Um, just want to firstly say, I'm actually not working on this car for an entire week at a time. I only work on it three days out of the week. So hopefully everybody understands that of why it might take me nine weeks to do this instead of four. But um, anyways, just wanted to show that uh, this week I did, I got everything squared away with the condenser, like these two screws. There was some issues there. It's hard to tell right here, but the condenser is actually kicked in on this side. It's actually bending towards the passenger side. I've called Rock Auto about it. They said that's the way it should be, so I don't believe it anyways because the old one's right there. Um, the AC lines have been hooked up all the way back to the firewall. All new O-rings installed. I've had the powder coating all done for the little, uh, what you call them? heat shields for the brake lines. I repainted the brake lines now so they are perfect. Also painted the entire trans tunnel and after many 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 hours I scrubbed the entire fenders down to the original um, rust preventing stuff that they put on it and did a pour 15 on that. I will say after like 18 years of road grime that is hard as hell to get off so if you ever plan on doing it prepare to get very very dirty uh, as you can see here I got one of the HID kits there's gonna be another one right here next to it that'll be for each headlight <clears throat> I'm still working on where I'm gonna put the third HID ballast for the hella fogs it's gonna go up front um, I haven't really touched any of the wiring this week just because it's I've had issues waiting on shipping for these AC parts as you can see they're all in now after many hours of custom bending them because whenever I received them they were all bent out of shape and they wouldn't fit anywhere also things that don't fit is the wonderful emac bar yeah I wish it did fit because this is one sexy piece but it doesn't work anywhere it only works on the very back two bolt holes on the firewall the rest are pretty far off I don't know what's up with it hopefully whenever I put the engine in it might go back together you can see this whole fender well was done as well. Then of course I have the turbo sitting here because I was trying to figure out and make sure that it would fit with the AC lines that's right here. And trust me it does. <laughs> It'll fit perfectly. There's going to be no problem with a downpipe even. The radiator that I'm going to set up to run here will fit before it even remotely touches the turbo. Which is very good. because. Lord knows you don't want to melt a radiator because of your turbo. So, just a little idea of what it looks like. It'll sit somewhere around there. I still have to clock the turbo to turn it so the exhaust housing is pointing down instead of at that angle. Um, let's see. Nothing else really was done because, like I said, I was waiting on things to arrive from shipping. And the only actual thing I did was bake open five different sets of KA7 headlights. So by chance, if anybody wants projectors retrofitted, let me know. See? A whole bunch of them sitting somewhere over there, I think. Yeah. They're all in boxes and pieces. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys this week. Sorry I didn't do anything else because, like I said, I'm waiting on stuff. All right. Talk to you in a week.